dirty shit to pick up at the dry clean. I got a tiny bitch to pick up, I got less Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. Hello, fam. Thank you guys so much again for joining me for another Lethal's Vape Reviews. I'm Chris Lethal Coils, bringing you guys today another hardware review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an RDA I picked up because I wanted to, and uh, I really like it, so I figured it, I would do a review for it. And today, the RDA we're going to be taking a look at is the Equitas RDA. There we go. The Equitas RDA from Ambitions Vapor and Hell Vape. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this right down to the table. I don't want to waste any time talking about it right now. We're going to take it down to the table, take a look at the ins and outs. We're going to go over the whole thing. We're going to do a build up, wick it, juice it. Then we're going to bring it back up top, give you guys pros, cons, final thoughts, wrap this whole thing up. How's that sound? Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's take this down to the table, take a look at it. And yeah, let's go. And here we have the Equitas RDA. Here's the packaging for it. Up top, we've got Hellvape, Equitas, name of the RDA itself, and uh, the Ambitions Vapor and Hellvape collaboration with the Ambition Vapor logo on the, the uh, front there. Up top, we've got Hellvape company logo again, Equitas. We've got the Hellvape scratch and check authenticity here. Do not vape in a bin, all the social media, on the back, what we have are the features and contents. Let me see if we can't zoom, focus this in a little bit more. There we go. We've got all the features. Feel free to pause this video at any moment to read all of this. I'm not going to go through it. But the contents, what we do have are the RDA with a colorful resin drip tip, Delrin 810 drip tip, stainless steel 510 pin, uh, adapter rather golden hex bo bottom feeding pin four hex screws spare o-rings hex driver and a slotted screwdriver which yes is the dreaded blue screwdriver barbie screwdriver there uh, as called by other people uh, designed by ambitions vapor and hellvape hellvape.com and for any after sales service so basically uh, customer service go to service at hellvape.com that's their email address on the other side, what we have are the couple of the features here of this RDA. We've got a postless raised style deck, flippable barrel for different airflow options, which we'll get into in just a moment. And we've got an 810 resin drip tip. Up top, we've got Hell Vape. And on the bottom, what we have is the barcode Equitas RDA color designation. This one is stainless steel or silver salmon, whichever you uh, want to call it, but it is stainless steel. Inside the box, what we've got is a little info card here, just about uh, for more instructions and whatnot. You can find uh, Ambitions Vapor at his YouTube channel. And again, for after sales service, contact them at their customer service email of service at hellvape.com. Uh, we've also got the logos, we've got the insignia of the cross on the rosary beads there. On the back, what we have is the little bit of information on how to use the flippable barrel. As we were talking about, I will show you how to use that appropriately or how it was designed. You can use it however you choose, but I will go over that in just a minute. So let's put that aside here for now. What we get in the package is the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Equitas RDA. It looks really nice, right? So let's put that down, see what else we get in the packaging. Let's take out our goodies box, Arr, if we can get it out. There we go. Take out our goodies box, put, put the rest of that box aside because there's nothing left in it. So what do we get in here? As we've said, we get the drip tip, we get screws, hex drivers, we've got slotted driver, we got your hex drivers, we've got O-rings galore, we've got a bottom feed pin, and we've got replacement screws. So that's what you get in the baggie here. I don't know why they sent two of those hex wrenches. I think that might have been just a screw up. Uh, but those are the little bits and bobs that come with this wonderful RDA. Now, before we do this, I'm going to just put this on my atomizer stand that I got from Dilly Gaff Addy Stands. Stevie Dillgaff Porter makes these and you can find him on his Facebook uh, Facebook page. 
So yeah, what we have here is the Equitas RDA, 24 millimeters diameter. It's got a nice re uh, a resin drip tip. We got nice O-rings, tight man, tight O-rings on that barrel and the uh, top cap here. Really, really nice and tight. You've got the Equitas name engraved on top here, on the top cap, as well as these nice little engraving etchings on the side. You can see that little cross right here. That's actually uh, mimicked after rosary beads, which is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. So now we've got the barrel, all right? Now you can see there's notches cut in the top here. Give me one second, I'll get my pointer. You can see that there's some notches, Oop, there we go, cut into here. And what that's for is for the deck has these little locking pins right here. See that? So that is a deck locator, um, airflow ring locator. It will make sure that your airflow is facing your coils every single time. Uh, so you can see I had it installed. Let's get it to lock into place. You just turn a little bit. There you go. It's locked into place now. Uh, you just spin the barrel to adjust your airflow to really nice wide uh, Cyclops style or, or ovular style, whatever you want to call it. Um, airflow. It is in this specific configuration with the airflow down the bottom. It's angled up and when you flip the barrel, it's going to angle it down. Um, so why the flippable barrel? This is a dual purpose RDA. You can use it in dripping, you can use it for squonking. Either way you go, it works. Uh, I've used it in both and I think it performs pretty well. But uh, yeah, so for the lower airflow configuration, it's primarily designed for dripping. Uh, you're not going to over drip because the airflow uh, holes are angled up, or at least it will be harder to uh, over drip and start leaking. Um, and then when you flip the barrel over with the airflow slots up high, where's that ring? There it is. Need those locator pins. There we go. So with the airflow slots up high, it makes it more suitable for squonking, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but either way you go, flippable airflow, either airing it, uh, angling it down using the top configuration or angling it up from using the bottom airflow configuration, either way you go, you can angle it your direction. Whether you're squonking, dripping, doesn't matter. You use this however you want to use it. That is the design as I know it. Um, I could be very wrong on that, but from everything I've heard, it was designed for dripping with the airflow holes down and squonking for the airflow holes up. Again, to each their own, you, you can use it however you want to in whichever configuration you want to, and it'll still perform. So let's get to the deck. Uh, actually, let's go to the barrel still. Now, like I said, you spin the barrel to adjust the airflow, and that's because this inner ring inside here actually locks into place like we discussed and you adjust the airflow through the outer outer barrel all right the outside barrel um, and that's the airflow and the engraving on the uh, top cap or the barrel there moving on to the deck let's see we have a raised postless style deck let me try and zoom us in just a little bit more there we go so what we have here is a raised postless deck. As you can see, it's raised up from the bottom, uh, but there are no uh, holes to go through the sides. This is strictly trim your leads, drop them in, screw them down, pre-fire, do what you got to do, scrape them, you know, uh, pinch pulse, do your thing. Um, but it's rather easy to build on, so I really like that. Uh, juice wells are pretty deep. I'm not sure exactly uh, the depth of those, but it's it's a good um, good size juice well in there. You can tell we've got a peak insulator down the center here with little juice holes for squonking that come out the sides on both sides. All right, right there and right there to go directly to your wicks, right? So that's pretty pretty cool. 
and it makes it safe. You've got another uh, peak insulator here around your uh, negative or positive rather around your positive posts or raised post lists whatever you want to call them you got that nice peak insulator here protecting from shortage you got two nice firm o-rings uh, on the bottom if we can get this thing off let's try and use that barrel there we go underneath what we've got and this is gold plated deck by the way those are stainless steel uh, flathead screws installed there is um, there are four hex head screws in the parts package like we saw earlier uh, on the bottom what we have is designed by there we go designed by ambitions vapor and hell vape you've got the batch number and uh, serial number there you've got hell vape logo here peak insulator around this uh, I believe that's silver plated um, 510, although it, it could be stainless steel. Uh, nice clean threads. It's a little bit dirty because I've been using it and I, I hadn't been bothered to clean it before I did the review. So, but this is this, and I think there's a little bit of something that shouldn't be in there right there. Yep. There we go. Sorry, black dot was irritating me. So that's that. All right, guys, let's do a, a quick build up and um, then we're gonna take this up top and talk some have a vape on it first of all let's have a vape on it and then we'll talk about it a little bit more and uh, give you guys my my final thoughts pros and cons you know the deal so that is the Equitas RDA let's get on to the build segment
So cons, what do I have for cons? Well, I prefer a um, non-adjustable stationary airflow option, uh, as you can tell on the Kennedy or on my dead rabbit with the brass butcher cap on it, non-adjustable airflow. Um, I'm kind of a fan of those, but it has to be just right. Um, but this one being allowed to uh, dial it in and down is not a huge con for me. If I do want some better flavor than clouds, I'm typically a cloud chaser. But if I do want some better flavor than clouds, then I will go ahead and adjust that as I, I see fit. Still, even that being said, one of my daily bangers, absolutely love this RDA. I've built on it countless numbers of times. And again, it's been in my rotation since the day I bought it. Uh, so for that, I have to give big ups to Ambitions Vapor and Hell Vape Premium. Uh, I love it. It's a, a great budget RDA uh, for the price point. I You can get them cheap as chips. Uh, I think about $30, $35 here in the U.S. Uh, some places may even charge you $40. I don't know. Uh, but anything above $40. Um, I, I think $35 to $40. $45 would be about an appropriate price for this. So I think it's appropriately priced, um, especially for the, the length of time I've been using it. I've certainly gotten my money's worth out of it. And uh, I'm going to continue to use this on a daily basis uh, for the foreseeable future. Anyways, until I find something that beats it. And even then, I'll probably have it still in rotation. Um, that being said, guys, it's a great little RDA. If you are looking for... Uh, this RDA, you can find it in so many places. Um, Google it. I can't put links down below. Um, but yeah, that's what I got, guys. So definitely check out the Equitas if you like uh, your adjustable airflow. If you like to not have to fiddle with getting the airflow perfectly lined up with your coils, this is a great little RDA. So I encourage you guys to look into one. That's about all I've got right now. Guys, I am 100% independent, so please do show some love if you so feel uh, inclined to. I will have Patreon and PayPal links as well as a merch store link down below in the description. If you do like my videos, please do hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up for me just one time. All right, guys. Uh, also, check out the Facebook group page. Check out the uh, my, my profile page. Check out my Instagram, guys. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, if you're just watching this video uh, on a whim, please do hit that subscribe button so you guys uh, can see more of my stuff. And you won't see any more of my stuff unless you hit that notification bell to let you guys know when I update new content or upload. It'll update you to when I upload new content. How's that, guys? Anyways, that's what I got for you today. Big love, y'all, and I will talk to you in the next one. 